Milwas Productions, founded on the 10th of August 2015, is a non-profit educational performing arts company. Our team consists of 40 plus vibrant, passionate young persons ranging from the ages 10 to 35 across Trinidad and Tobago. Our team has been operating actively within the theatre arts and literature ecosystem and to date we have produced 8 educational plays, 3 educational workshops, 3 community projects, a national poetry challenge, a religious play, an educational tour and a Shakespeare festival. Our mission is to encourage a deeper appreciation for the literary arts and to provide open doors of expression and creativity for our team members and the wider community. Following that mission and vision, we here at Milwaukee Productions have been able to host six major educational productions for students. The Twisted Otello, Trinidad and Tobago, The Taming of the Shrew, The Great Gatsby, A Raisin in the Sun, and the Tempest in which hundreds of teachers and students were in attendance. We were also able to host one educational poetry competition called Echoes. Here, students were given the opportunity to choose a poem of their liking from the literatures in English syllabus and then recreate and produce this poem in a theatrical form. In addition to this, we have provided workshops and travel opportunities for our students. We have provided workshops in acting and performance and in reading, understanding and performing poetry. In terms of our traveling opportunities in the year 2018, students were afforded the opportunity to go on an educational tour to the American Shakespeare Center in Staunton, Virginia. Unfortunately, in the year 2020, our educational tour to the Shakespeare Globe in London had to be cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. For company post-research, we have discovered that many students struggle with the drama component of the CSEC and Kate syllabus, particularly Shakespeare's content. This is because they encounter many challenges when engaging with this work. The absence of vivid and detailed stage directions in Shakespeare's plays as opposed to modern plays require students to be very imaginative. Students who lack or have limited imaginative competencies can become discouraged and lose passion for the study of such material. Also, many students are unfamiliar with the general historical, political, social, moral, ethnic, and cultural contextual fabric of the Elizabethan era. To truly appreciate Shakespeare's work, thorough research needs to be conducted. With modern plays, it is much easier to appreciate it as the history is more reachable and relatable because they address issues in modern day society. Translating Shakespeare might be one of the single most challenging aspects of teaching each play. Students don't always get the witty lines, comedic elements, metaphors, and cultural or historical references immediately without the support of modern translations as provided on spark notes or in the glossary of terms of their te printed text. Now because of this, students tend to put up mental blocks. Some of these are actually inherited from parents or past students who give Shakespeare a bad reputation. The original uncut work is at most times underappreciated and butchered. In light of the previously mentioned challenges, Shakespeare, which is classical literature, remains the focal point of our company because we are passionate about students gaining the most knowledge, understanding and application of this genre in the best and most enjoyable way possible. We want our general audience to enjoy the experience but we are especially concerned with filling any gaps of uncertainty in the minds of students. It's about creating an experience outside of the classroom so that they can gain a deeper appreciation for what is happening in the classroom. Our productions are always themed, so we encourage our guests to dress up and become a part of our cast. For example, our Gatsby Affair was held in 2016 and all patrons were dressed in their 1920s outfits 
and participated in the play as Gatsby's invited guests to the party. How do we combat the challenges faced in the classroom? For students, stage productions help them to understand the storyline from the start. When the Shakespearean world is materialized through costuming, sound, lighting, intonation, verbal and nonverbal cues, these serve as context clues to figuring out meaning. Drama is meant to be seen. Therefore, when it is seen, it is brought to life. During our rehearsals, we have these challenges in mind. Our actors participate in intensive script analysis, regular script readings, research and open discussion. We send our members to participate in workshops like the Mentoring by Masters program in 2019, which was entitled Self-Development through Theatre Arts and was mentored by the late Raymond Chukong. These activities help our members to perfect their skills and to return as mentors to the wider team. It also helps that our Milwas family takes up this challenge of their own volition. A lot of the anxiety around learning Shakespeare is as a result of exam culture. It's not that Shakespeare is uninteresting, it's just that his scripts seem too daunting to decipher in time for an exam. Our actors don't have that rigid timeline and they do this because they enjoy it. In turn, our audience is able to understand and enjoy the product of our hard work. We enhance moments in the play or even create new ones without sacrificing meaning. We invite our audiences to feel at home with Shakespeare by infusing some of the elements of our local culture. Some of these additions have included original calypsos aligned with the theme of the place, interpretive modern dances, which reinforce the themes and character revelations, Tr traditional carnival characters like Moko Jambis to represent the spirit world in the tempest, and the use of pan music added to the soundtracks. All of these things serve to create the drama, familiarity and cultural relevance or relationship to the classical material. And thus, it fosters an appreciation for the craft on display. My name is Marvelous Budivira. I'm a medical student, but I also absolutely adore the performing arts. So the exhilarating experience of being on stage allows me to be the expressive person that I am. Hi, my name is Gabriel Austin, and I'm an IT student who had near zero experience in literature and theatre before joining Milwaukee Productions. The opportunities that I have been given through them have really opened my eyes to the world of the arts in which I understand the world and people differently, but also myself. Hi there. I'm Rick Remo, and I study computer sciences. I got involved with theatre because I always loved the idea of exploring other worlds through novels, and it seemed the perfect opportunity to live in those alternate realities. My name is Shema. I was not a literature student, but through my involvement with Milwaukee Productions, I am able to contribute to many different aspects of theatre, acting included. As a science and technology student, this involvement has helped me to develop greater interpersonal skills and through this growth and understanding I am able to consistently heighten my level of production on and off stage. Hi, my name is Gabriel. Even though I am the youngest member of Milwaukee Productions, as I am 12 years old, I have enjoyed being part of Milwaukee Productions because it exposes me to different plays and cultures even at a tender age. According to Yasmina Riza, theatre is a mirror, a sharp reflection of society. Therefore, although Shakespearean plays and modern plays are written in two different eras, 
Their bows are used by playwrights to communicate a message to their audience. For example, Shakespeare, as well as the modern playwright, would use stage conventions such as costuming and props to demonstrate social class distinctions. However, the modern playwright would also employ stage directions as a guide to the director and actors, adding much more detail and value to other stage conventions, such as sets, lighting, along with elements like stage actions. Another aspect of theatre which the Shakespearean era and modern era can be compared and contrast is language. Language in both eras are similar as both playwrights employ simple diction which is easy to understand. However, Shakespeare is unique as his work features many archaic words which is not typically found in the modern writing. Evidently, this makes the interpretation of Shakespearean plays harder than modern plays. Modern plays are also easier to interpret based on more relatable themes. It is also important to note that the length of plays in both eras are different. Shakespearean plays are usually long and consist of five acts, while the modern plays are shorter, mostly consisting of three acts. In one of Shakespeare's many quotes, he metaphorically compares the world to a stage. With the understanding that theatre reflects society, the themes explored by Shakespeare can also be relevant to the Caribbean. In Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew, the motif of lies is displayed throughout the entire play. The major character Lucentio is actually notorious for finding love through lying about his character to impress Baptista, the father of Bianca. Similarly, in the West Indian play, written by Mustafa Matura entitled Playboy of the West Indies. The motif of lies is also employed throughout the entire play. Both plays are classified as comedies. Both characters lie for the purpose of love or to attract a female, and the truth is revealed at the end of the plays. Although both plays explore a similar motif, Shakespeare's The Tempest is definitely one of the most relatable Elizabethan plays to West Indians. Although the play focuses more on betrayal, it is hard to ignore the acts of slavery, oppression and colonization that exist in the play. Firstly, the Tempest is set on an island which was inhabited by Caliban. He was then captured by Prospero and he became his slave, similar to the experience of the indigenous population in 1498. Furthermore, the plot of the play focuses on the injustice done to Prospero by his brother rather than what was done to Caliban by Prospero. Although Caliban can be seen as the antagonist in the play, comparing his experiences to that of the indigenous people does raise the question, is he the antagonist or is he a victim of colonization, oppression and abuse? Conclusively, the message received by the audience is totally based on their knowledge and their perspective. Nevertheless, there is no doubt that the themes discussed amongst playwrights in their craft are timeless and relatable to the Caribbean. We've gone through where we began, what we have done, and where we are currently. So, where are we going to next? Our future plans consist of doing our Shakespeare Festival again. To allow Shakespeare to continue to impact the lives of not only our students but the general public. Also, we plan to assist our students in seeing the connection between theatre and Shakespeare in our upcoming project called Spare Notes, where we will be going into as many schools as we can across Trinidad and Tobago to fill the gap in the students' understanding of theatre arts. Our goal in making this investment in our students is to give them a deeper understanding of its relation to Shakespeare and to allow for a more holistic approach to the subject. Additionally, we plan to take students and even members of the general public who are interested in Shakespeare to learn more of its origins at theatres across the world, such as Shakespeare's Globe in London. While we have our eyes set on experiencing Shakespeare plays physically, we also plan to make the experience online through podcasts of readings of Shakespeare plays, using our actors, and even developing discussion points to have our own panel of youths relating their opinions. 
We see our options as unlimited, but with every venture we plan, our sole focus will always be to ensure that the students see Shakespeare more than just lines in a book, as well as to keep theatre and literature alive and active in the minds of all that come across it.